and blur zero one read back correct request immediate attack push when in hello everyone and welcome back to the fluctus channel the rockwell b1 lancer is one of the most revolutionary bombers ever designed First introduced by the U.S. Air Force in 1986, this supersonic strategic bomber remains one of the United States' primary long-range attack craft. As well as one of the most recognizable planes in the fleet. The B-1 stands out for a number of reasons. For starters, it is designed like a fighter jet instead of a bomber. Its variable sweep wings resemble those of the F-14 Tomcat. except the B-1 is nearly 150 feet long and has a wingspan of 137 feet. Not only is it capable of carrying up to 50,000 pounds worth of bombs externally and 75,000 pounds internally, but it can also reach speeds of nearly 1,000 miles per hour. This means it can enter enemy airspace, drop its payload, and get out as quickly as possible. The B-1's capabilities come at a bit of a cost, however. Supersonic aircraft of this size are rare for a reason. And with its max weight of 477,000 pounds, nearly all components of the B-1 are subjected to high levels of stress during even short missions. This has given the Lancer a reputation for being quite maintenance intensive. In fact, a single flight can often translate into more than a week of intensive maintenance. Most of this maintenance is done inside specialized hangars designed specifically to accommodate the Lancer's unique design. Each maintenance phase consists of daily inspections made by both flight and ground crews, home station maintenance, and depot maintenance. The primary feature that separates the B-1 Lancer from all the full-size bombers that came before it is its ability to travel at supersonic speeds. Of course, this is only made possible by the aircraft's four General Electric F-101 GE-102 afterburning turbofan engines, which can produce up to 30,000 pounds of thrust each. Properly maintaining these engines requires constant maintenance and frequent testing, which often occurs inside a hush house. This specialized facility allows engines to be safely powered up while engineers and mechanics carefully analyze the results. No matter how much phase maintenance an aircraft might go through, 
there is simply no replacing the pre-flight inspection and maintenance process. Indeed, the pre-flight check is often considered one of the most critical procedures at any airbase, as it is the last line of defense for identifying and addressing potential issues before they become safety hazards. Generally, the process will include checking for any signs of wear and tear, corrosion, or damage that could compromise the aircraft's integrity and airworthiness. It also means preparing the plane to carry out a specified mission, which can vary from day to day. Those components that are found in suboptimal condition will need to be replaced or repaired on the spot, or the entire plane could be grounded. Only after the B-1 gets the A-OK -okay from the maintenance crew will the crew be allowed to take off for their mission. The B-1 includes a four-person crew consisting of an aircraft commander, pilot, offensive systems officer, and defensive systems officer. Because the systems built into the aircraft are so complex, these men and women need to work together to operate the B-1 successfully in all manner of situations. The B-1 has undergone several significant upgrades in order to keep it competitive against modern aircraft and anti-aircraft countermeasures. For instance, the latest B-1 designs are capable of carrying external payloads on several external hardpoints placed under the fuselage. This was part of the original design, but required an upgrade in the early 2000s. Among the many weapons utilized on these external hardpoints are the MK-82, MK-62 Quickstrike mines, and AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missiles. There are several companies around the world that produce both military and commercial aircraft. One of the most well-known is the French multinational firm, Airbus. First introduced in 2013, the A400, nicknamed the Atlas, is a four-engine military transport aircraft designed to replace older planes like the C-130 and C-160. It is 148 feet long and has a wingspan of 139 feet. Allowing it to carry up to 116 battle-ready troops or up to 60,000 pounds of equipment and cargo. Though propeller-driven aircraft are sometimes viewed as antiquated next to jets, turboprop engines like those used aboard the A400 actually combine elements of both.
This drastically increases both their efficiency and ability to provide high power at lower speeds, making them well suited for short to medium haul flights. Airbus also designed the A400 with a high wing configuration, enhancing its ability to take off and land at short, often austere locations. This makes it a vital tool for getting troops and equipment to the front lines. As a relatively recent addition to military fleets around Europe, the A400 boasts some of the most advanced avionics of any cargo plane. For starters, it features a state-of-the-art glass cockpit with multiple large color displays. These displays provide the flight crew with essential information, including flight parameters, navigation data, and system status. This is aided by the plane's fly-by-wire flight control system, which uses digital computers to process pilot input and control the aircraft's flight surfaces. In order to ensure proper navigation, communication, and mission management, the A400 boasts a high-end GPS, inertial navigation system, INS, and radio navigation. While there is no such thing as an aircraft so advanced it can avoid repairs altogether, Airbus has made some outstanding strides in maintenance technology. This is perhaps best evidenced by its 3D repair technology. This simple process consists of a computer interface, which contains a 3D model of each Airbus aircraft. And it will automatically assess the damage, collate the data, and provide repair solutions. This makes it even easier to share the damage data with the manufacturer or third-party repair company, ultimately saving hours of work and effort. Before 3D repair, maintenance techs were often awash in delays while they dealt with administrative issues and permissions. Now, they can ensure that their planes are evaluated, fixed, and up flying again as soon as possible. Nonetheless, engineers and mechanics still lie at the heart of a working aircraft fleet, be it private, military, or commercial. Because all planes are highly complex machines, they need constant attention in order to perform at their peak. For maintenance tech, the entire day revolves around maximizing the safety of passengers and crews by ensuring planes are in the best possible condition. These men and women carefully inspect all sections of the plane to which they're assigned. 
They will also check the captain's logbook to see if they have reported any issues with the equipment or controls. Obviously, these techs need to know the planes they serve very well. This requires hundreds of hours of training and is what elevates these individuals far above a simple mechanic. In the end, it takes dozens of people all working together to complete a single mission. Whether that mission is carrying troops into battle or transporting families and friends across the country. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.